get get a home, get a, get a building, get something you can actually have some tangible assets, and then start working, <coughs> doing things that you enjoy doing. This, this is so cool. I know so many people who, for years, work for the company, work for the company, and then the company just cut them loose. And they've found out what good that does and what loyalty does for you. And so then, in desperation, they run around and they try to find another corporate job, and that gets tough, and particularly the older you get, the tougher it gets. So then, all of a sudden, they finally have to, out of desperation, they start thinking for themselves, and they go, well, you know, what do I like to do? Well, I like to grow flowers, you know. So next thing you know, they're growing flowers, and they're cutting flowers, and they've started their own little flower delivery business. And the first thing you know, they're doing pretty good, and they're making a living, and they're getting long, and they're getting rich, but they're surviving, they're doing just fine, and they're doing what they love to do. And that, that is that's a real key. That's a real key thing yeah, and absolutely. really, really important. And then as th times get tough, if we just all start networking and working together as a community, you know, you, gr you grow some chickens and, and uh, I'll swap you my tomatoes for your eggs and we'll all just get along. That's true. Years ago, I had kin folks down in East Texas, and they were just scraping out living there in the dirt, <laughs> red dirt in East Texas. And, I remember asking them when I was a kid, I said, how'd you guys get along during the Depression, you know? And they just laughed. They said, hey, what Depression? I said, we didn't have anything to begin with. <laughs> we didn't have anything during the Depression. We just kept doing what we were doing, and we got on through. And we're all going to get on through. And we're all going to do, actually, we're all going to do good. In fact, we might even end up doing a lot better because we're not going to be, you know. But, but here's the key thing. Step one. Turn off the TV. Just turn the sucker off. And you know what? After a couple of weeks, you're going to find out two things. You're going to find out, number one, you hadn't missed anything. If World War III starts, believe me, you're going to know it. Okay? So you're not going to be out of the loop. All you're going to be missing is all that celebrity news and, and, and the latest shooting somewhere. And, you know, who cares? Uh, and number two, you're going to find that all of a sudden you've got some time in your hands and you're going to start reading. And as you start reading, it's going to stimulate your brain processes because it's not a passive thing. You have to actually read and think about the words and then think about the concepts. And you're going to start thinking and you're going to start, wow, you're going to start thinking about things and you're going to get a better uh, appreciation of what's really going on and, and what maybe you could do about it. All right. Thank you very much, Jim Mars. Thank that's, you. That's really fabulous. That's a good one, Jim. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's hmm. great. That was a well, it's, well, it was, but it's always great to to actually get in and talk about the real stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm real happy you did that. Thank you very much for going in, in all those places for us because, uh, you know, you kind of went off the record a little there. And, well, and I just, did. Uh, but, you know, it's funny. It's when you said you draw ancient Egypt and the Nazis in America, and it's like... It's an amazing thing. It is. And the thing is, though, it really is, because, like, if you saw my presentation, I, I pointed out how the, the treasure of Solomon, which came out of Egypt, and then is buried in Jerusalem, and then is half of it's taken to Rome. And then, and from then it Rome makes it goes the Nazis to, po to, possible, right? Yeah, and then the Nazis end up getting it. And then it comes to America, right, on those <laughs> yeah. on the U-boat or whatever. Yeah. I mean, and then Argentina. And now, supposedly, all these people are, tr are going, their whole solution is go down to South America and get away from America, <laughs> right? But... Hello. <laughs> you go down there. Guess who's down there? The Bush really family in par yeah. Paraguay, right? Exactly. With with how many acres they get? Something like I keep hearing I various things. I I thought it was nine thousand acres, and then I heard it was ninety-eight thousand acres. And you so. have to look at that and say, well, there has to be a plan there as well. Yeah, they they're, exactly. they were planning that the whole time. Well, they they're ready to bail out of the United States. Exactly. See, this is the thing. They they got a movie they're going to show here, which is really interesting. It's got a really fascinating theme to it, which is that this whole thing building up to Armageddon and that the economy's collapsing and the environment's collapsing and and blah, 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 this is all a scam, not to the public, but to the New World Order people. <laughs> and they really think that it's all about to come down, so they all have been secretly working jumping on Jumping ship. Planet. They're jumping ship, <laughs> so they all leave the planet. And we're here, and we can go on and have a nice life. Well, <laughs> Isn't that an America, interesting concept? In good, in good 
good shape anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let them go to Paraguay. Well, they're going to end up in hell anyway, so what sure. the hell? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's crazy. And what they did in Argentina, I mean, it's just, it's that's an amazing, amazing story as well. It so, is. I mean, there is no stone unturned. Antarctica, mm -hmm. right? Right. They're there. <laughs> right. So. It's a, it's so a crazy. It's whole amazing okay. thing. Well, well, thanks for the coffee. And thank you, Jim. This is and I'm good. Oh, great. gosh. In fact, I guess I've got to run somewhere else now. Jim, it's a, great, it's a pleasure. Thanks for giving us Bill, your time, your energy, thank your, you. your focus, and your passion. That's uh, all I can get. All right, we're in California Suite or Arizona Suite? We're in Arizona. We're in Arizona. We're oh, okay. All right. Y'all take care. Okay, take care. Just, hey, just be kind. Don't yeah. make me look like a bigger idiot than I am. No, you're fabulous. <laughs> we'll do well. Don't worry, we'll do you're well, Jim. You fabulous. can trust us, we um, promise. You know, okay. we can really buy you whatever you want to change. Just let us know. Okay. Do something. Do something. Do what you can do. Exactly. Maybe it's just writing letters to the editor, you know, but. Absolutely. Or getting out marching and carrying a sign. I don't know. It's just whatever you can do, but by God, do something. <laughs>